Hi, uh, I'm back, and this is going to be a video uh, from the drawing board on Hall Effect sensors. And Hall Effect sensors are very simple devices. They're solid state, they're electronic, they respond to a magnetic field, and they're in the book. If you have the book, you can look up Hall Effect sensors. So the first thing I need to let you know is I got new markers. Okay, let's start with a general concept. Okay, so a Hall effect sensor is obviously a sensor because it senses something. Um, and in this case, what it senses is a <coughs> magnetic field. Okay, so if you've uh, been working with equipment or vehicles that have moving parts that are equipped with boxes with a piece of metal that comes down, and there's probably three wires coming off. That's more than likely a Hall effect sensor. It could be a, a reed switch, could be a magnetic switch, but uh, if it's got three wires, it's probably not. Three wires is probably a Hall effect sensor. Okay, um, the first thing we have to remember is what we've talked about already, and that is that um, electrons are the little negative guys that are running through the wires and when they run through the wire there's current okay so the current is composed of these little guys okay uh, and they're going through the wire or they're going through the you know they're wherever they are they're going they're moving they're going okay could be going through the ground on a bad day that could be going through your body, so please be very careful that you don't allow yourself to become a current path, okay? So it's these guys that are gonna do the work, and the concept is incredibly simple, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a magnet, and very specifically, we're gonna put the south pole down and the north pole up and that's you know that pretty much is uh, how a magnet kind of looks and if you've seen me draw the magnetic lines of flux before uh, I'm gonna draw them with a pencil because I don't want it to be too too uh, heavy so they're going to leave the North Pole, which is the convention, and they're going to come in to the South Pole. All right. So they're going to go out like this, like a fountain. Like this. Okay. Well, they're going to do the exact same thing down here, but they're not coming out. They're coming in. So what I strongly advise you to do is to look at the south end of the um, the south end of the magnet. Uh, look at it like a um, vacuum cleaner. You know, I don't know why they put that. You know. Okay, because uh, what's kind of happening is the um, the magnet is actually pulling electrons. So if we were to turn on the um, vacuum cleaner, let's uh, plug it into the wall here. 
It's been a long day. Okay, any rate, so there, there's it's plugged in the wall now. And if electrons were like, you know, scooting along here. Doing, 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 doing. See those? Yeah, I guess you can. Doink, 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 doink. If they were like cruising along like that, and our vacuum cleaner, which we'll call the um, the magnetopia, we'll call this the magnetopia vacuum par excellence. Okay, so if if the vacuum is like going. <laughs> And then, it, then you know the the safety pin or the paper clip gets up in there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Well, anyway, these arrows are pointing up. Obviously. Well, what happens is my Magnetopia Hall Effect vacuum cleaner will pull some of these electrons up. That's that's it. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Okay, so if we give ourselves a current path, all right, and we have our bottom plate, so to speak, not really a plate, but that's what I'm gonna call it. If we have the bottom plate of the Hall effect sensor, then current is just gonna flow through it. It's very simple. The Hall Effect sensor has three leads. Hall Effect sensor. It's got three leads. Uh, one of them is plus, one of them is minus, and the other one is signal. Pretty much it. Oh, wow, what happened? Well, that stinks. Sorry about that. Um, oh, I was drawing, wasn't I? Okay, yeah, that's right, got it back. Okay, so then we're going to have a second um, plate. And this one's going to be above the first one. And it's going to go to a solid state device, which we're just going to call the transistorized doohickey. There's a transistor. Okay. And the transistorized doohickey amplifies this weak ass signal here. Because what happens is the electrons are flowing through la la la, you know, ba 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 la 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 la. But because of what they do, they fill up the plate. So the plate's kind of full, and there are lots of little electrons sitting out there, having a little electron meeting. You know you've been in a bad meeting when the only thing you've accomplished is plan another meeting. And uh, you need to call foul on that if that ever happens to you. Okay, so there are all the electrons sitting on the plate. Okay, well, if we put the... Giganto Hoover Magnetopia Hall Effect Vacuum here. All right. And there's the South Pole. And here's the North Pole up here. Make it official. Then what happens is these South pulling the south pulling flux lines literally pull electrons oh, no, help me. and they hit this plate and then the plate sends that voltage or the voltage is sensed by the amplifier which goes in and sends out a 
bigger signal that does something. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of different types. Um, I mean, I just got finished messing with one that was rotational here. Um, and the, the, um, the uh, Hall effect sensor, which is in here, just goes in between those magnets. And then, um, you know, when you rotate the sensor, you rotate the magnets. When you rotate the magnets, the angle changes. And that's a way that the position sensor can be a a, mag a Hall effect sensor can be used as a position sensor. So, you know, if we if we have um, the uh, find a spot here, if we have um, you know the Hall effect sensor, um, and I'll just draw it from the top, which I don't really know how to do. Um, there's the three leads, I guess, and then here's your, you know, there's your card with all your um, little doohickeys on there with the resistors and the transistors and the whatever else is on there to amplify and amplifier. Well there's a Hall effect sensor and and believe it or not it works because if the magnetic field is pulling um, this way or whichever way um, or if it's pulling that way or if it's pulling that way then the soft, I mean, the the hardware, the digital hardware with all the little, you know, stuff things on here and, and capacitors and resistors, whatever, all those things can be formulated so that if it's a 5-volt sensor, if it's a 5-volt sensor, for example, then this would probably be 2.5 volts. Didn't draw that very well. And this might, for example, be 3.5 volts, and this might be 1.5 volts. So as the magnet spins around, whichever way the flux is pulling, okay, whichever way the flux is pulling, that's what's going to happen. So, you know, you got this orientation, and you got this orientation, right? And then that will give you a varying signal which allows you to have a position sensor so we can roll the magnets or roll the usually this stands still and roll the magnets and as the magnets roll you know we get a we get a different voltage so I'm not going to spend a lot more time on this um, if you're if you're going to be working on one uh, you'll know that it's uh, a Hall effect sensor if there's a metal plate there and uh, there's three wires so you know that that's what it's going to look like uh you know inside but on the outside it's going to look like this sort of kind of with maybe a hole there for a bolt maybe a hole there for a bolt and then a grommet here probably or some potting and then three wires coming off and then there'll probably just be a metal plate that comes down beside it um the three wires to me is a dead giveaway that it's a hall effect if there's two wires it's going to be a switch um, which is referred to as a reed switch. Um, Hall effect sensor is much more stable and much more sensitive than a reed switch is. So, you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the guy that figured it out, his name was Hall, obviously, and it was way back when, a long time ago, uh, 1800s or late 1800s, early 1900s. I didn't really, you know, didn't really uh, take the time to look, but that's what it does. That's how it works. Uh, it's it's very simple. It's very robust. There's not a lot to go wrong. Um, so remember, always remember, remember, I'm telling you to remember that 80%, 80% of electrical faults are in wiring. Okay? I did some experimenting here, and um, it does not take very much corrosion to skew these readings. Okay, so if we had a corroded wire, the 2.5 might not read 2.5, it might read 2.0. And if it reads 2.0, then the sensor thinks that the machine is oriented some way that it isn't. 
and all you have to do is clean the wires okay that's all you have to do is clean the wires so don't get in a hurry to change parts um, without you know some proof that you need to do it and that's not going to be very often you know if you consider the 80 percent wiring I suppose I could write wiring I guess uh, just as a whatever um, so 80 percent wire for the faults and um, you know it's 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 pretty it's it's pretty simple if you have any questions you can contact me and if uh, you uh, come up with anything cool or find anything let me know I'll uh, I'll sign off now and then I'll go do something else and put that out there as quick as I can so you guys enjoy be safe and um, thanks for watching